Hi, welcome. Today I want to talk to you about sciatica. Sciatica pain can be very annoying and irritating. It's caused by the sciatica nerve, which is the longest nerve in your body. It starts up in the low back and buttocks and can, comes down all the way to your heel. Anything that irritates that sciatica nerve can cause tingling, numbness, pain, which is quite annoying. What causes it can be a host of different reasons. It can be just arthritis. It can be spinal stenosis. It can be a tight piriformis. It could be a slipped disc or just tight muscles in the quads, hamstrings, and calves. It's kind of hard to pinpoint without x-rays or an MRI. But today, we'd like to focus on some stretches and exercise that might give you some relief of that pain or numbness, numbness or tingling. So join me for these exercises, which you can do right on your bed or if you prefer, on the floor on your mat. Do them anytime that that pain kicks in. Sciatica pain is usually down one leg, can last a few days or a week. However, if it starts to last more than a week and becomes extremely painful, it might be a time for a visit to your physician. Find out how serious is whatever is causing that sciatica nerve to be irritated. So join me now for a little relief, we hope. This is great that we can do them right on the bed, or if you prefer to do them down on the mat, you can do them there as well. We're gonna start very simply by trying to break up the tension that's in that sciatica nerve and get some blood to it. So all I want you to simply do is just start moving those knees side to side, kind of like a gentle massage of the hips, the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and then just gently pull in one leg and pull in the other, kind of like Oh, just flossing the hip joint and the sciatica nerve, giving it some range of motion. Oh, then let's just do a full body stretch. Point those toes, stretch those arms, and then bring those feet back in. I want you to do some bridges by lifting those hips up and squeezing those glutes and slowly coming down. I would do several of these, taking it slow, kind of massaging again, the low back, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, just bring them up. Now this time, I want you to bring them up and shift your hips to the right and bring them down, just stretching that hip a little bit and bring it up and then come down in the center. Now, if any of these hurt, back off. Bring it up, shift them to the left, and bring them down, and back up, and maybe that's enough for you if your pain is severe. If not, try it again. Squeeze those glutes up, shift your hips to the right, and bring them down, and then back up, and straight down. Feels great on that low back, and lift them up, and take them to the left and then up and bring them down. Let's go back to that full body stretch again. But this time I want you to slide your leg in and then just kind of pigeon that foot out, that knee out, so that you're stretching the buttocks, the hip joint, and then change legs and stretch it. Hold them for a few seconds, just letting them relax out. And then the other one, let's hold this one a little longer. Just let that drop and stretch. And then change in. Let it drop and stretch out. Oh, that feels good. We're gonna roll over to our stomach and kind of gently again, move that lower back. If you feel severe pain right here, just stop right there and let your back relax into it, hips into the bed. 
And then if you're able to, I want you to push up, hold it about five seconds and come down. Try to release the tension in the glutes, the low back. Your hands can be wherever they're comfortable. Some folks prefer to have them perpendicular out and down. And you can feel this in your low back. Hold it for five seconds and come down. And hold it for five seconds and let it relax. I want you to just bend one knee up just to stretch those quads and hamstrings and then the other knee up. Getting the blood to that area will help hopefully take the healing oxygen and ibuprofen that your body naturally makes to the site and stretch it up and stretch it up. Now I want you to take your right leg and just kind of nicely slide that knee to the side. How far is up to you and how much tension you're feeling. That feels great. And then I'm going to slide the other one to the side. This has a horrible name. It's called roadkill. I guess if you're on the side of the road, you might be in this position. Slide that leg up, a little humor there, and hold it. These exercises you should do throughout the day. It's one of the ones that you don't have to skip a day in between because it's just gentle stretching. After you do them in the morning, you may have no pain, but then there it is again in the afternoon. So those are two great ones. And do a final press up. See how I can go up higher now that I've released those hips a little bit. And then up again and down. Gently roll from side to side. Just those hips a little bit. Oh, very well. Let's swing around back and go back to our back. And this time... We're gonna hug both knees in. Always great to stretch out that back. I want you to gently bring one leg in and we're not gonna stop it. Again, we're gonna kind of glide along that hip and bring it in and out. And if you can, I would like you to point your toe on the way in and press the heel on the way out and point the toe on the way in and press that heel on the way out. And then the other side, pull the toe in, press the heel out, and pull that toe, point it, and then flex the foot, and then point it, and flex the foot. Oh, let's take those legs again side to side. Now any of them that you choose to hold, you can hold your legs over to the side for a few seconds and let that Muscles stretch out all the tendons and then the other side. Good, and let's finish with a nice stretch of the whole leg. Let's hold it up there. And then I want you to just set it on that other leg and press it out. If you're able to grab your ankle, see if you can stretch it to the opposite shoulder and hold it there. You feel a great stretch on the hamstring, the sciatica, the glutes. And now the other leg, gently bring it in. Stretch it up and hold it there so it has time to lengthen. Then set it on the other leg and gently stretch it out. If you're able to grab that ankle, and just gently pull it to the opposite shoulder, stretching again through the glutes, the hamstrings, even the IT band, I feel that, wherever I'm tight. Oh, let's finish with one more bridge, squeezing those glutes, and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Roll to your side and gently press up, and try these exercises daily. Maybe hold them a little longer because I just kind of ran through them with you. So try them in the morning. And then if it starts to kick up again a little later, repeat them in the afternoon or the evening whenever you're feeling pain. 
Thanks for joining me. I hope that that helps that sciatica.